So here I have the seeds I'll be sowing today. I already have some yellow heirloom tomatoes started, but they, the seeds that I planted were not mature enough because the cotyledons just don't look, they don't look good, but the same seeds produce these plants that I keep in my room and I've had them for a year. And there's actually some buds starting right there, but they're probably not going to produce anything. And I'm probably going to cut this off right here and plant it in the garden or root it and keep it on the patio, which over the year I've also cut off right there and right, right there. So I tried to keep them not overtaking this little table because they would definitely do that if I have not cut them off. And these are microtom that were from last year, but they have, I planted three seeds I'm pretty sure, and I did not date them. I think it was about a week ago. But, and these, in here I had sunflower seeds, but they died. So I put basil and then they were, they kept damping off, so. I probably have to replace that soil, but the seeds I'll be sowing today are Principe Borghese tomatoes, which are determinate, and they produce large bushels that can be dried. Glacier tomato from Baker Creek, which is semi-determinate. Jimmy Nardello Italian pepper. I'm excited for this. I see um, Ray. I think I think Ray grew these. I can't remember right, but, and I have these, which I wanted to either do a Thai hot pepper or a lemon hot pepper. What, these are lemon drop hot peppers. It says a seasoning pepper from Peru, and I'll be sowing these. I'm going to do three of each, because I'm only going to end up with one plant, but they all should germinate, so... I'll probably end up throwing out some. And this is the green sausage tomato, which is a paste tomato and is also a determinant. And I wanted to get determinant tomatoes because I'll be growing them on the porch. So here I'll be showing you how I sow my seeds indoors. I just filled this cup up halfway and it's a harder plastic, so I'm able to reuse them more. And I just put in holes with a pencil and drop one seed into each hole and then I cover it up and water them and with my peppers I'm actually gonna put a very very thin layer of soil on top of them because on the back of these packets it says that white may help germination so I'll try it out You can tell when a tomato seed has been saved correctly and fermented that it actually looks kind of fuzzy. When you just dry it on a paper towel, that gel coating is still there. It's just dried up, so it doesn't, you can't see that fuzziness on the seed. sown all the seeds and I'll update you guys in the next episode. Bye! Today is March 15th and the seeds that I planted came up. The tomatoes came up. Peppers haven't yet but 
They usually take longer than tomatoes. So the first ones actually came up on the 11th, was, which was about two, two days after I planted them. And they look good. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.